This presentation shall talk about the bay color as the base coat color of horses. So in this presentation, we are going to talk about the shades of the bay horse. We also have the gene inheritance of the bay horse. How long has the bay horse been around? And the different horse breeds having the bay color. So how do we define a bay horse? So when we say a bay horse that is an animal with a black base affected by the agouti gene. The agouti gene only affects the black bases and restricts the distribution of the black hair to the points and top, top line. So bays are commonly found in most breeds and few are exclusively bred for the color. So these are some quick facts about the bay horse. The bay is considered to be a dominant color. The coat color ranges from light brown to dark red. The main detail in the points are always black in color. So of course, uh, the, when we say points, now again, that this refers to the main, the tail, the limbs, now the lower limbs, as well as the, the edges of the ear. And they are always black in color. They can have white markings on the head and legs. And along with done, light bay was possibly a color found in ancestral horses. So let's now proceed to the shades of the bay. So the shades of the bay are usually confined not to the body of the horse. The red color of the body may have different shades like the chestnut horses. So collectively, all these colors are called bay, but different terms are used to describe these shades. So for example, we have the sandy, the sandy bay, the standard bay, and the dark bay. But uh, in this presentation, we are also going to uh, consider and talk about the different shades of the of bay, aside from this, uh, three general terminologies. So one of the, the shades of bay is the light or the golden bay. So this is considered to be the lightest shade of bay, and this is one. Uh, this one is not as common as some of the darker shades. The coat color can be light red to almost golden yellow. So this is uh, a horse that exhibits a light or a golden bay uh, shade you know, of a shade of bay. So another uh, shade of bay is a standard. So this is considered to be the most common bay shade and generally what people think of when they envision the color bay. The coat is deep red with no smutty coloration. So this is a horse uh, exhibiting you know, the standard bay uh, shade. We also have the copper bay and this color tends to be brighter like a co copper penny, and the coat has a rich orange-red body color. Another variation of the bay shade is the blood bay. So this is the second darkest color of bay, which has a deep blood-red body color. The shade can almost appear to be shades of purple. So this is a horse exhibiting the blood bay coloration. We also have the dark or the mahogany bay and this is the darkest of the bay shades and often mistaken for steel brown animals and the body is a deep brown red which can almost look black or deep brown. Uh, another variation of the bay horse is the wild type. So how do we define a wild type bay horse? And how do we differentiate it you now from the typical bay horses? So the wild type bay uh, carries a different version of the agouti gene represented by the uppercase letter A and we also have the plus sign. In the wild type bay, the block on the legs is much less extended than on the standard bay, as shown in this diagram. The block is always below the hock and the knee, and it is mostly restricted to the fetlock joints and the pastern. So we have here a comparison of the wild type bay and the standard bay. 
And as you can see here, they differ in terms of the black points, particularly on the limb, uh, the lower limbs. Now, in the wild type bay, the black is restricted to the fetlock joints in the pasterns, while on the standard bay, the black extends above the knee or in the hock, no, hock joint. So that is the main difference uh, between the wild type and the typical bay horse. So this is another uh, illustration photo of a horse that exhibits a wild type bay horse. So the wild bays are considered to be true bays now with a deep red coat color and black points. But of course now the in the wild bay the leg points only extend up to the pastern and the fetlock. And again this is often associated with animals that carry the pangari gene. Uh, so let's now proceed to the gen inheritance of the bay horse. The bay horses results from the interactions of the two genes. We have the extension gene and the agouti gene. The agouti gene acts upon the extension gene by limiting the black color to the points. So again, when we say points, it refers to the mane, the tail, the lower limbs, and the uh, rear, ear rims. No? So considering all possible uh, combinations of these two genes, which are present in a bay horse, the outcome from the mating of the two bay horses will be predominantly a bay horse. Let's now proceed to the gene inheritance, now, the illustration of the gene inheritance of the bay horse through the Punnett square. So to predict the outcome of the two bay horses, we will use the following Punnett squares. So if we are going to mate or cross uh, two parents, with a homozygous, which are homozygous dominant for the agouti gene. So we can see here that there is a 100% chance that the, uh, that the foal that will be produced is also a, a bay horse. And uh, all of them have, are also you know, homozygous dominant for the agouti gene. When we are going to cross uh, two parents, one is homozygous dominant and one is heterozygous for the uh, a gouty gene. So we can see here that there is a 50% chance that the foal that will be produced is um, heterozygous and a 50% chance that it will be homozygous dominant. But of course, uh, all of them will be bay, uh, bay horses no, in uh, phenotypically. We are going to cross uh, two parents. One uh, both of them are heterozygous, so there is a 50% chance that the horse that will, the foal that will be produced is a black in color. Black, you know, and also a 50% chance that it will be heterozygous for the agouti and 50%, a 25% chance that it will be homozygous dominant for the agouti. We must also not uh, forget that chestnut horses may carry the agouti gene which will be masked because this gene does not act upon the red pigment. So bay horses may result when such chestnuts are mated with a black horse. Nice. So how long has the bay horse's uh, color been around? Bay is one of the oldest colors in horses and was depicted in prehistoric cave paintings from approximately 25,000 years ago. DNA analysis of the horse fossils from the late Pleistocene epoch identified the bay gene. So these are the horse breeds that can have the bay color. So bay is one of the most common coat colors and is present in many horse breeds. Furthermore, the Cleveland Bay breed has only the bay horses. So this is the Cleveland Bay stallion exhibiting the bay color. Thank you.